In-ear monitors or IMs are a massive part of the audiophile community, but they're also excellent for gaming. They smoke any gaming headphones competitively and in audio quality while being cheaper. But before you go buy them, let me tell you the positives and the minor negatives. Let's start with the sound quality. I'm an audio hobbyist, not an audiophile, so I will mainly talk about the perspective of gaming. IMs are easier to tune and usually have more separation to be able to hear things like footsteps over loud sound. Not all IMs are good for gaming, so you should do your research first. A lot of IMs can have really good imaging, which is kind of like the accuracy of where the audio is coming from. From my experience of using gaming brand headphones, they always have an imaging and soundstage where footsteps can be heard from the right direction, but lose the sense of distance and the height of where those footsteps are coming from. A good example of this is in Apex, where I died because I thought a team was directly behind us, but was actually on top of height. If you listen to music, IMs will sound much better since they were tuned with music in mind. The soundstage is usually better on headphones, but this applies to more enthusiast type headphones and not gaming brand ones. And for me, I found that the comfort made more of a difference in experience than the soundstage. The wider soundstage on headphones can be nice in games, but isn't that game changing. A massive reason why IMs are better is because of comfort. Wearing headphones for long sessions can get uncomfortable. The pads get hot and sometimes hurt your ears. IMs also have no weight and feels like nothing is there. It just gets annoying taking on and off headphones all day from the discomfort. There are comfortable headphones, but for someone like me who lives somewhere pretty hot, it's impossible to wear headphones for more than an hour. Now, what are the negatives? Some people that I know cannot use IMs because of irritation inside of their ears. Also, you might not like putting an ear tip inside of your ear, which I think you can get used to, but that's purely on you. There's also a problem with talking. As a person who talks a lot during scripts, it can get annoying using something with a lot of isolation because that also means that you can hear yourself while talking. If there's audio playing while you're talking, I don't find this annoying, but I for sure have to take them off while I am recording a voiceover, like right now. And that's all the negatives that I can think of. To summarize, a lot of people assume that bigger is better. But in audio, that's purely not true. IMs provide extremely good audio quality in both music and gaming while being way more comfortable. Compared to gaming brand headphones, IMs are just a better choice in both audio and value. Now, if we're talking about enthusiast headphones, I feel like the price to performance ratio is still better on IM. If you ask any audiophile what to buy under $100, they will most likely point you to IMs because it's much easier to make good IMs for cheap. Now, if we're talking about expensive IMs and headphones, headphones might perform slightly better, but the the comfort of using IMs just is more valuable to me, especially in gaming. There are a lot of good, cheap IMs. I think the best choice is the Truth or Zero, which is in a good spot where I don't think you need to upgrade afterwards and performs extremely well in sound quality for the price. After this, the value goes down from there for gaming. But the IMs I am using right now is the Eco OH10, which isn't any better for gaming. I just prefer it to listen to music and I love the look of them. Well, that's all I gotta say. Peace.